if you're a breastfeeding mom, you need to know how to identify mastitis. If a part of the breast does not drain sufficiently, bacteria may grow and cause an infection known as mastitis. Symptoms of mastitis include swelling, uh, redness, pain, or burning. You might also have a fever and flu-like symptoms, and you might also have generalized aches. When you experience these things, you should let your doctor know about it. Hi, I'm Dr. Christine Albaquiat. I'm a board-certified pediatrician, and my mission is to help moms and dads deal with child health problems to raise happy and healthy kids. In this video, we are going to talk about what is mastitis, milk stasis, how do doctors diagnose this condition, how to treat it, and should you continue on breastfeeding? Mastitis is an inflammatory condition of the breast that might be accompanied by infection. Well, breast inflammation during breastfeeding requires immediate and proper treatment. This is because without proper treatment, it might lead to premature cessation of breastfeeding. And we know that breastfeeding is important and it is the standard of infant feeding and nutrition. The recommendation of the American Academy of Pediatrics and World Health Organization is exclusive breastfeeding up to six months of age. And after six months of age, uh, the recommendation is to continue on breastfeeding with the introduction of complementary foods. And after one year of age, you can continue on breastfeeding as desired by the mom and the baby. The main initiating factor of mastitis is milk stasis. When there is milk stasis, this leads to a blockage in the milk duct, which leads to a sore white spot known as a bleb on the nipple. Um, the treatment for the bleb is to remove it using a sterile needle or you might also use a fabric soaked in warm water and to rub it in. Um, you can also use steroid ointments for that. Usually, it is a continuum wherein milk stasis leads to inflammation without an infection that may then lead to uh, inflammation with infection known as mastitis. How is mastitis diagnosed? Well, it is diagnosed by the doctor asking about your history, what are your signs and symptoms, and also performing a physical examination. Now, what are the ways to prevent mastitis? You should know what are the factors that lead to milk stasis, which leads to blockage of the milk ducts, which leads to inflammation. The factors that cause stasis include uh, during breastfeeding, if you increase the time between feedings, if you restrict the duration of the breastfeeding, if you skip feedings, if there's an incorrect latch, when the mom has a disease or the baby has a disease or a birth defect or is tongue-tied, if there is overproduction of milk, if there is rapid weaning, if there is pressure by the bra on the breast, and if you have a nipple wound. So the so the best way to prevent mastitis is to optimize your breastfeeding technique. What is the treatment for mastitis? And should you continue on breastfeeding? Before we talk about those, do you have a newborn baby? Or you are an expectant mom or dad? Are you having trouble with breastfeeding? Do you know how to soothe a crying baby? Do you lack sleep? Well, I have an online course known as the 5 Newborn Care Strategies. The link to my website is provided in the description section. Do check that out. Treatment of mastitis includes warm compress and antibiotics. Along with it, there should be frequent breastfeeding, take 
rest, drink plenty of fluids, and take pain medications. When your doctor prescribes an antibiotic for your mastitis, it is important that you complete the entire course. What happens is some moms are worried that the antibiotic might cause harm to their nursing baby, which is why they stop the medication prematurely or just do not complete the entire course. You should not do that because um, not completing the entire course of antibiotic might cause another infection. The antibiotic that is used to treat mastitis generally does not cause harm on your nursing baby and you should continue on breastfeeding. It is important that you continue on breastfeeding even when you have mastitis. This is because you need to drain your breasts and uh, to prevent the infection from spreading. Do not worry, your baby is not harmed even if your baby drinks the breast milk from your affected breast with mastitis. Although uh, the breast milk might taste salty and your baby might refuse it. Now, if you experience pain on breastfeeding on the affected breast, what you can do is you move your baby to the other side and you open up both sides of your bra and just let the milk flow to a towel or an absorbent cloth. Another thing you can do is to drain your breast, the affected breast, using a pump. So, what is important is to keep draining your milk either through baby's nursing or with a pump. Hey, if you like this video, watch my other videos where I teach you about other child health problems.